Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and today we're talking a little bit about the Xbox briefing. I'm sorry this is a little bit late, but I wanted to kind of set on it, and I wanted to see people's takes on it. And one that made me really want to talk about was Dreamcast Guy. Uh, I like Dreamcast Guy. He seems pretty cool. His content's pretty good for the most part. He does overreach quite a bit, but... I think that's just him. I think that's just a part of his content stick. Um, but his review of the uh, Xbox conference came off smuggish and biased. He'll go ahead and admit, and he'll say he's not the biggest Xbox fan. That's fair. That's fair. I'm I'm more of an Xbox fan than I am a PlayStation fan. But I'm more of just a gamer. I'd rather pay on my PC, my Switch, you know, my PlayStation 5, my Series X. I play it all. I don't care. I don't really care. And I'm not going to pick sides. When I was younger, yeah, I picked sides. I was purely an Xbox fanboy. I admit that. I admit that. And part of me kind of still feels that way. I really like my Xbox. I like the idea of backwards compatibility. And I like how they started being more pro-consumer compared to how Sony's kind of acting right now when it comes to cross-play. They're like, we, you know, we're supposed to be for the gamers, and here we are. You no, know, they're trying to take away crossplay again. But we're not talking about crossplay. We're talking about E3 2021. Now, Xbox came out purely just games, games, games. Some varying qualities, some things I wasn't interested in, some things I was interested in. And a lot of stuff, too, was coming straight to Game Pass, which Game Pass, if you haven't tried Game Pass, Game Pass is probably the most valuable thing in terms of subscription services you can get. It's it's great. You get access to all kinds of games. And with the accus acquisitions of all these studios like Bethesda, you're going to see games like Starfield day one on Game Pass, which is pretty good. And by the way, Starfield was... Pretty much said it was exclusive to the Xbox, which is probably a big blow. And probably the future to come, when you see games like Elder Scrolls 6 or whatever, um, it's going to be exclusive too. So it's a big, that's a big deal. It's a really big deal. And some of the games they've shown off, like it's coming straight to Game Pass, like Back for Blood, uh, Contraband, uh, let's see, Halo. And they're also having a free-to-play Halo uh, Infinite multiplayer for everyone, even outside of Game Pass. That's what I took from that. I could be wrong. The, just the way they said, it was like, with no restrictions. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of hoping that. Now, they had games that completely surprised me, like The Outer Worlds 2. Uh, I love the first game, and I love Obsidian. It's a, they're a great company. Uh, Stalker 2 looked great. Uh, Battlefield 2042, even though as a multi-platform game, I'm glad we got to see some of the gameplay because I was kind of worried about it. I didn't know if it would have been any good, uh, but it looks great. Um, the fact that we're going to get Hades coming to Xbox Game Pass, got Psychonauts 2, uh, Far Cry 6 is not going to be on Game Pass that I know of, but it's pretty cool. And I actually finally got to see a little bit of Atomic Heart, which is a game... I have been looking forward to for a long time. I don't know if you guys had a chance to look at Atomic Heart, but be sure to look at that. Be sure to take a look at it. So other things they was talking about was Forza Horizon 5, which it was it's beautiful. It's a beautiful game. <laughs> pretty pretty goddamn good looking game. Uh which playground as a playground that's doing these, uh they usually do a pretty good job on Forza. Uh, try to make it a showcase for that system. But one of the games that sh they shown off at the end was called Redfall. And it was a game made by the guys at Arcane Studios. Used behind Prey, um, Dishonored, um, Deathloop that's coming out for the PlayStation. And this looked pretty cool. It's basically like vampires. From what I can tell, it's like Left 4 Dead, but with vampires. It's what it looked like for me, but I thought it looked pretty interesting. Uh, I do admit there was a lot of games that shown off just mainly uh, cinematics, uh, CG trailers, which, yeah, that kind of sucks, but they did show a lot of gameplay. Um, we did get 
our first real look at Starfield, which they said it was in game in the engine. It does seem like they're still using Gamebryo, which I hope uh I kinda wish they would have just moved it over to the Doom Eternal engine because that engine these that engine's pretty fucking awesome and stable, but whatever. Uh they're gonna continue using Gamebryo, which I hope that doesn't deter the quality of the actual game. <clears throat> but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Like it was a pretty good solid uh conference. And I mean compared to all the other conferences such as uh Square Enix which was mm-hmm. Ubisoft which was mm-hmm. it was pretty bad. Pretty bad. But I don't think Xbox really had any competition on E three right now. Uh, we'll see with Nintendo. Nintendo might blow us out of the water. Nintendo usually does kick ass. I kind of wish Sony would have had something. I really do. I wanted to see something, uh, maybe like more Final Fantasy VII remake stuff, the new God of War, um, what, what all the other studios are working on. I, I, I would love to see Sony come out, but they kind of skipped E3 again this year. But what do you guys think about it? Did you guys enjoy it? Was this something, um, I, like I said, I, I give it a B plus. I don't give it a perfect A or anything like that. Because, I mean, there were some games I did like, some games they didn't. I wish they were shown off Fable. Um, and there's another game, I forget the name of that. Um, damn. Heretic? Heretic? No, nah, I forget. I forget the name of it. <laughs> but I was really, really cool. They had announced a new Plague Tale. Which is awesome because I love the first Plague Tale. If you ever get a chance to play it, play Plague Tale. I think it's Innocence. It's pretty good. The new one I think is called Plague Tale Requiem. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Um, Excited about that. But guys, thank you so much for checking me out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to hit that follow button, that subscribe button. Once we hit 500 followers, you're giving away a free copy of Pokemon Snap or Pokemon Elite Trainer Box. So... I'll see you guys soon.